Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As you know, Fortnite Chapter 7 is out, and many players are facing random crashes and different kinds of issues. So today, I'm going to show you how you can fix these crashes and problems. Make sure to watch the video till the end, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. So guys, method number one here is we need to simply update the graphics driver so if you use nvidia you need to open your nvidia geforce experience or nvidia app and simply in the driver section you need to download and install the latest driver in your system and uh, if you use amd you need to uh, do the same step like in your add-on software and the second thing is we need to go to your graphic settings here select your game and here you need to turn off some settings if you play your game on your low-end system like v sign turn to off text settings set to low or medium and shadows quality set to low or medium uh, especially these settings you need to turn it off and in rendering mode you need to uh, play on the dx11 because uh, if you play on dx12 you face different kind of issue like fps drop or lag and freezing kind of issues and on dx11 uh, this setting is uh, really best guys uh, if you play on this uh, setting you gain uh, more fps in your game and uh, your game is uh, really smooth and uh, other setting guys you need to simply pause the video and replicate my these settings and uh, after it's done the next thing is we need to perform some epic games launcher setting so you need to open your epic games launcher go to your library and here we need to like uh, go to the uh, find your game click on three dots and click on option setting and first we need to close some settings like uh, if you not play save the world you need to unmark the option and uh, high resolution texture you need to unmark as well pre-download stream asset unmark the option and if the DirectX 12 uh, option available here you need to unmark the option as well uh, because we need to run our game on DX11 and after it's done click on apply and the next thing is we need to again click on three dots and this time you need to click on manage and here you need to simply verify your game files click on verify and it will take some time and in case your game files are corrupted or missing then this step will fix your issue so after it's done the next thing is we need to uh, like uh, install the latest directx in visual retribution file in our system so we need to uh, open the dx folder like visit the official website of directx and download the latest directx in your system so here is the setup i already downloaded the setup accept the agreement click to next install the main bar it's optional so it's up to you Click to next and wait for it. Maybe it takes some time, so don't be panic and just after a few minutes, it's done. Click to finish and that's it. Now move back and get back and move to the visual retribution folder. And the same has DirectX, you need to visit the official website of visual retribution and download all the visual files in your system. So here is the bash file, run this bash file and it will automatically install all the visual files in your system. You just need to click to yes and rather of the steps it will automatically perform. We just need to wait here until it's done and if new in this channel guys can like this video share to your friends and subscribe the channel for more content and in few minutes it will be done so in just few clicks that's it now the pack steps are complete guys and we'll move to the next thing and the next thing is we need to uh, open the task manager and free the CPU memory from here. Like a uh, Fortnite is specially based on your CPU, so we need to free the CPU memory from here and uh, find some kind of programs uh, like uh, uh, that takes your CPU memory. And uh, I'm recording this video, so that's why my CPU space is a little bit high. But you need to find some kind of programs, and uh, once you find these kind of applications, right click on that kind of program and and task it. And once uh, they are closed, your CPU memory is free. And then the next thing is we need to uh, like close some background applications. So we need to go to the research bar. In here, we need to type settings. And here we need to go to the privacy section. Here in general, there are four options: one, two, three, four, four. Turn off all of them. Down below, and go to your background apps and turn off all the background apps running in your background. So my background apps are already turned off, so I don't need this get back and move to the visual uh, sorry uh, in the gaming section 
and here we need to uh, turn on the game mode option and turn off the game bar option and on the right hand side click on the graphic settings and here we need to click on browse add your game like fortnite game go to binaries win64 fortnite client win64 shipping.exe file and after adding this file you need to click to option uh, set in high performance click to save and that's it and move to the next thing and the next thing is we need to delete some junk or bad files in our system so for this you need to press window key plus r and here we need to type the command like the first one is prefetch p r e f e t c h press ok click to continue control a select all and delete all these files in your system skip the step again press window key plus r and this time you need to tap percentage tamp t e m p Again, percentage, press OK, Control A, select all and delete these files also. Skip the step and again skip it. And once you delete this file from here, you need to remove these files also from the recycle bin. So here is the recycle bin. And that's it. So guys, uh, the last thing is very important. You need to uh, download and install the PC uh, manager app it's a free app you can download this app from the Microsoft official uh, store and once you install this app you need to click on boost uh, and it will take some minutes and it, it will boost your PC performance and other settings that how you can use this in, uh, in the process section click on it and here are the some background applications while you play your game you need to if you not play any of them you need to simply click on end and this program will end same goes to the startup app click on it and uh, these programs if you are not uh, use uTorrent kind of uh, software you need to simply unmark it and this program will close and the last thing guys is we need to the deep cleanup side uh, click on it and it will calculate the bad or cache file in your system and uh, now after the scan, uh, it's scanning the file uh, it will also gives you the free storage in your drive like click to proceed and that's it so guys uh, by applying these simple steps your problem will be fixed and now you can play your game without any crash or error and now you will see a huge FPS boost difference in your game and if you found this video helpful guys can like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out